Welcome to the Chopper Insert. This is one of the juiciest plugins inside of Cubase, and there's so many different sounds that we can get out of the different parameters inside of this plugin. For example, if you start with the waveforms along the top, you can choose how you contour the transient of the audio coming through. So you can choose to go with the attack of the audio file, or you can deaden the attack a little bit and have a real push-pull kind of vibe coming through. For example, if I change the waveform here, now I'm not getting so much of the attack of the sound coming through. So you can see the waveform and that's how the audio has been impacted. So it's been impacted at the speed that I select by using what almost looks like this quantize panel right here. So the higher I go in number, the faster the actual modulation that's taking place. The depth is controlling the intensity of the modulation. So it's basically specifying how deep that modulation is. And the mix parameter is one of the most important parameters because we can blend in between the original audio and the impacted or the affected audio. And that's really important when it comes to modulation effects because we might want the transient still to be quite prominent, in which case we'd drop the mix lower and then just blend the modulation in. Or we want the modulation to be full on as it is at the moment, so the mix is 100%. Now, the cool thing is we can right mouse click on parameters and we can start to automate sweeps into the actual audio file itself. So this is where we can get really creative with some of these modulation effects. It's basically adding intensity as the track plays and it's really easy to do. Once again, right mouse click, show the automation track and then just use your pen to start drawing in some of these sweeps into the actual project window itself. The more you use this plugin, the more you'll start to realize how the different waveforms can really shape the output of the sound. And one of the interesting things is you can almost mess with the speed or the sync points as well to create what almost sounds like a delayed effect behind the actual audio, depending once again on where that mix threshold is actually sitting in the plugin. So you can very much have a sharp sound and then go back to more of a push pull sound, especially if you've got a slower sync point. As always, there's plenty of presets. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel and leave us comments below to let us know how you're being creative with Cubase plugins.